I love Japanese convenience stores, but their sandwiches can be a bit of a scam. That's why I want to show you how to make an easy chicken teriyaki sandwich that'll blow your mind, so stick around! Teriyaki chicken is one of those rare Japanese dishes that's as big in Japan as it is in the West, and it's become a popular filling for sandwiches sold in convenience stores here. The problem with konbini sandwiches is that they leave a lot to be desired, which is why I like to make my own. With a big juicy slab of chicken thigh glazed with savory sweet teriyaki sauce, these are pretty darn good on their own. But I like to add an over easy egg for a burst of golden yolk that takes this to the next level. Let's start by checking out our ingredients. For the chicken teriyaki, I've got two large chicken thighs, which are always going to be juicier and more flavorful than chicken breasts, but you can use whatever cut of chicken you like. I've also got some potato starch for dusting, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of sake, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. To assemble the sandwich, I've got two buns, some Japanese mayonnaise, a ripe tomato, and some lettuce. I'm also going to be frying up two fresh eggs. To ensure the lettuce is nice and crisp, I like to soak a few leaves in some cold water while I work on the other ingredients. For the tomato, I'm going to cut it up into one fifth inch thick slices. These are going to give a nice sweet contrast to our savory chicken. To prep the chicken, I'm going to dust both sides with potato starch. I do this with a tea strainer like this, which avoids getting too much starch in any one spot. I prefer my chicken teriyaki uncoated when I'm serving it with rice, but the starch helps hold on to extra sauce, which makes it work super well for a sandwich. Next, you want to pat the chicken together to spread the starch around so you have a nice thin coating that'll help the sauce stick. Now I'm going to place the chicken skin side down in a cold non-stick frying pan over low heat and we're going to render out as much of the fat from the skin as possible. This does a few things. First, the skin protects and bastes the meat, which ensures your chicken will be plump and juicy. Secondly, the fat released allows you to pan fry the chicken without adding any extra oil. Finally, the crisp skin has the ability to soak up teriyaki sauce like a sponge. As you can see, the chicken is cooked about halfway through, so let's flip it over. At this point, you want to turn up the heat to medium and pan fry the chicken, flipping it over about once a minute until it's fully cooked. The most reliable way to check for doneness is by poking the thickest part of the chicken with an instant read thermometer, which should read at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 71 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is looking good, so let's get these out of the pan. Now I'm going to break two eggs into the pan and fry them in the fat from the chicken. This is going to infuse them with some great chicken flavor. These eggs are spread out a little too much to fit in our bun, so I'm going to flip the edges over towards the center of each egg to tidy them up. Then I'm going to flip them over and cook them until the whites are set, but the yolk is still runny. Once the eggs are done to your liking, transfer them to a plate and set them aside. Now I'm going to wipe out all of the oil from the pan to make the teriyaki sauce. This keeps the sauce from getting greasy while also ensuring it's nice and glossy. Then I'm going to add the sugar, soy sauce, and sake. And we're going to let this boil until the alcohol is evaporated and the sauce is thickened up. As the sauce thickens, the bubbles will get larger, so when it's looking like this, Return the chicken to the pan and flip them over repeatedly until they're glazed in a nice thick layer of teriyaki sauce. Your chicken teriyaki should end up looking something like this. So let's assemble our sandwich. 
Before we put this together, I want to thank every one of my supporters who helped to make this video possible. There are lots of ways to support this channel, so if you're learning something new from my recipes, hit the link in the description down below to see what you can do. To put the sandwich together, I'm going to add plenty of mayo to the bottom bun. Japanese mayo is tangier and tastes more like homemade mayo, which is why I like using it. Then I'm going to line up a few slices of tomato. And our lettuce has gotten nice and crisp, so let's shake off the excess water and use a paper towel to dry it off. Then I'm going to trim the lettuce to fit on our bun. Next, I'm going to stick a teriyaki chicken thigh on top of our lettuce. And we're going to top it off with an over easy egg. Cover it with the top bun, and our chicken teriyaki sandwich is good to go. By the way, I tried cutting this in half to show you what it looks like, and this happened. So I don't recommend trying to split it like this. That being said, it does look mighty tasty, am I right? Alright, let's try this out. Itadakimasu! Oh man, this is certainly not a date sandwich. It's messy for sure. Mmm. <laughs> I'm now wearing half the sandwich. It's all over my hands, but man, is that good. The sweet and savory teriyaki sauce goes really well with the chicken, of course. And that creamy yolk has just burst all over the chicken and soaked into the bread. This is delicious. All right, let's try the convenience store sandwich here. Yeah, it looks pretty sad. Eh. It's not terrible, but it's not delicious. I'm going back to this one. Oh, that's so good. By the way, if you want to make a vegetarian version of this sandwich, check out my vegan unagi recipe made with eggplant which makes a great substitute for the chicken. As always, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving this a big thumbs up, and don't forget to share this with all your friends that could use some variety in their sandwich routine. All right, I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy the rest of this sandwich, but be sure to check out this playlist for more Japanese lunch ideas, and I'll catch you in the next one.